Mm, let's go ahead and get lost in the woods. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about mesh tech. Uh, this is going to be uh, a little bit different as we don't really typically do off the grid or, you know, doomsday prepper videos. <laughs> but uh, today we have uh, two LoRa devices. Uh, that's L-O-R-A devices, which stands for long range uh, so this is a wireless communication technology uh, that's used in like walkie-talkies, but it means long-range, low power, uh, and secure data transmission. So um, these things are kind of like walkie-talkies without the voice, uh, and they enable your phone to continue working. So I'm not... Um, at home, I am in the mountains, and uh, my cell phone has no signal <laughs> where we're at. So I figured this is a great opportunity to test out these devices and make sure that they can talk to one another uh, and just kind of see what happens. So I have two here. I ordered these off of Amazon, and then I got these 3D uh, cases printed on Etsy. So I have the links to everything in the description down below if you're interested in trying this out. I feel like anyone that's interested in electronics or doing some sort of, um, you know, radio transmission uh, should check out this project. It's pretty neat. Uh, it is open source with mesh tech um, and uh, a lot of information. Anyways, so what is mesh networking? So, all right, imagine that you have a bunch of toy walkie-talkies and each walkie-talkie can talk to one another. Now, if you want to send your, uh, if you want to send a message to your friend who is far away, your walkie-talkie will talk to the closest one which will then pass the message to the next one and so on until the message reaches your friend. So these little devices are called nodes and nodes basically you can set them up as a relay so they just kind of keep passing the message along and along and along and along until it gets to where it needs to go. We can definitely do a more in-depth video on these devices and how to set them up from start to finish. I just figured since we're going to appear in the mountains that we might as well uh, bring them along and do a video on them because they're kind of cool. Let's get started. Before we jump into today's video, let's hear from today's sponsor, PCB Way. PCB Way is celebrating their 10th year anniversary, which is absolutely phenomenal. For those that don't know, PCB Way is a great leading industry for custom PCB boards, doing electronic projects. If you're do if you're into electronics, if you're into kind of custom you know, little devices, you should definitely be using PCB Way. They do CNC molding. They also do custom 3D printing. Phenomenal quality. We feature on the channel quite a bit. So anyways, their 10th year anniversary. When you go to their website, go ahead and click on here and go ahead and hit enter and you're going to log in. So scrolling down from the, when you click enter and after you sign in and make or, or make an account, the exclusive coupons, there's coupons going on during this event, the 10 year anniversary. You can unlock an exclusive coupon after watching a 30 second video. They have an interactive world map here with people that have posted their PCB boards and orders. Oh, that's interesting. They're also doing a badge charity sale. A PCB badge basically lights up. It looks like there's more badges here. If one of these doesn't tickle your fancy. And what most people are going to be interested in is the unboxing of blind boxes. So you get three chances. I've used mine up. I should have done it live here. I did it beforehand. Kind of just curious how it worked. But you click on these boxes here and... PCB Way's version of rewards is these, what they're calling beans. So when you open these boxes, each box has an item inside that's worth so many beans. As we see here, like these items, that's 480 beans, that's 1080 beans, 300 beans, you know, and so you get to click these, you get three chances and you get to accumulate all those beans. You can then utilize those beans to redeem other items if you don't want the item that you technically won. It's just saying that this item is worth this many and you, this is what you could get. Guys, the 10th anniversary ends this month, so definitely be sure to check out PCBWay.com. You don't wanna miss this. This is gonna be crazy. And you know, it, it's something to dabble in. If you're just interested in dabbling in PCB or electronics, this is a great way to get started as it could be little to no cost to you. Congratulations, PCB Way, for 10 years. Now, let's get back to today's video. All right, so I'm gonna leave this red one here uh, with my wife and uh, she's gonna monitor on her phone 
uh, when we send a message, and I'm going to go get lost in the woods. <laughs> so I want to take this guy with me and uh, just have the antenna exposed and just put it in my uh, shirt pocket. And we have to utilize our phone in order to uh, send the messages. Let's go ahead and get lost. So just starting out here, uh, I do apologize. I'm just freehand with the camera right now. And uh, so it's a bit uh, Cloverfield. But um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and cross this bridge and we'll send a message, just kind of a starter message and see if uh, that's received or if there's going to be already issues off the bat with the trees. So here we have the MeshTech app, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and send a test and see. Oh, there we go. So test. We see it turns yellow for waiting to get acknowledged. And once it says acknowledged, that means that the other node has picked up on it, or at least a node has. And I'm in a direct message. We can go over the MeshTech app later, um, but it allows you to do direct messages or kind of send out a broad signal uh, so any node could pick it up. But right now I'm just doing direct messages from the green node that I have to the red node my wife has. So, And I know she was helping out at the cabin, so she might not be able to respond right away. So I think we're going to go ahead and continue walking um as i know she was helping out some family members at the at the cabin so i think we're just going to keep walking and see uh, if the next one's acknowledged since it says that we know that the red one picked it up um so she definitely has the message just can't respond at the moment so let's go ahead and continue our little hike oh wow look at that is that is that a bridge yeah that's another bridge over there let's go check that out I present to you the bridge to Terabithia. Never, never saw that movie. Uh, <laughs> anyways, it's just a little bridge out here. <laughs> yeah, we can make that. Oh, look at that. Well, and we're off. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. My God, just look at that. So peaceful out here. Like I could live out here. I just, I just, I know someone's gonna make a comment. Be like, "This is a nature video. You're not really focusing on the device." I don't even care. Enjoy this. Enjoy it. Whatever you're doing, take a minute. Shut up. Listen. That's nice. That's nice. I came up to a path here. The water, you can still hear, it's off to the left, uh, just through those trees over there. But um, really, these nodes are, are, are quite interesting uh, that, you know... Sorry, I thought I heard someone coming up behind me, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, they uh, have these... You'd be surprised in your own city how many people are utilizing these. There's a ton of people using them. Um, and just there with off the grid communication, it's not going through a cell tower. It's not going through, you know, there's no messages to pull, um, cause it's going directly from device to device. Uh, so it's a secure kind of communication, which is pretty cool. Speaking of communication, we should check and see <laughs> our app here, uh, and send a message. It's been a minute as we see, I, well, maybe. I, well, it says SOS. I no longer have, there we go, signal at all. Um, I had a bar for a minute there. And it looks like she still hasn't responded to the test message. So I'm going to do another one and see if it's at least acknowledged. I'm just going to type in range test and uh, see if it's at least acknowledged. Okay. I mean, it's acknowledged. So it's at least getting there. It's at least getting to the red uh, node.
But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I was surprised when I was at home and when I, you know, got these all built up and, and put together, just how many were here in Denver. Oh, I just got a buzz. Uh, I think she just responded then. So it's connected, the node is connected uh, via Bluetooth to my phone. Um, but let's see what she says. I can see it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So that was her sending me a message back. I mean, my phone just vibrated as if I got a normal text message. Um, was helping with bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. See, there we go. I knew it. <laughs> so I'm just sending back. Uh, there's a whole path up here, and gonna go ahead and send that. And it was acknowledged. Sorry for the camera shake there. Uh, but what's really neat is that on the device itself, you can actually read the last message that was sent. Um, so as we see here, uh, it, well, maybe if it'll focus again. I'm having a tough time with that today. Um, but she responded with, nice. Uh, <laughs> So there's other low row devices where they have a keyboard built into them. Um, I'll have a picture of one up here real quick um, called the T device that I'm interested in kind of exploring. But um, then it's all in one. You don't even need a phone. But at least this, it works with your cell phone. Um, and it's kind of cool that you can read the last message that was sent to the d node. I'm about a half mile or so upstream now, and uh, I'm just going to send a message out. Um, I've already sent one that I'm as far as really the path goes. Uh, looks like someone's property line is on the other side of that bridge, so I'm not going to cross it. Um, but I'm just saying, basically, I'm up as high as I can go. I'm going to be coming back. I still can't get this camera to focus on my phone to save me for nothing, so <laughs> just going to be sending that message. I'm waiting to get acknowledged. I'm pretty close to the ground in the rocks, so I don't know if that's going to work. I'm also going to try sending my location. Yeah, and it looks like it failed. And I'm sure the location is going to fail too. Uh, so I'm going to try standing up and going back just a little bit and try again. Still says failed. But she sent me her location, so maybe mine did go through. Let me try right here. And since mine doesn't have a GPS installed, it's actually using my phone's GPS to send that location. Um, there we go yeah so I uh, exactly what I thought I was too close to the ground and the rocks uh, which blocked the signal from sending out so there we go did that and uh, let's go ahead and head on back thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe what are your thoughts on the lower device is this something that you guys want to see more of a more in-depth uh, more focused video not <laughs> distracted by nature but uh, let me know in the comment section down below be sure to check out modernbroadcast.tv it is my birthday this week so uh, we're going to be doing a discount 10% off your order at modernbroadcast.tv be sure to check out we got some shirts we got some merch so uh, be sure to check it out and uh, yeah Stay tuned for next week's video. Huge shout out to the 10 year anniversary of PCB Way. Be sure to check that out for those free goodies and uh, just support them. That's awesome, guys. Congrats again. Have a great week, everyone, and take care. Yeah, you like that? I left the, I left the video going with the, the stream because that's nice. That's nice.